Hello everyone, Peter here, Piotr Fisner from Right to Repair UK. Guys, <coughs> so uh, for those who don't know, the website um, Right to Repair is driven by a company called Interteam. And this YouTube channel is just the repair channel of myself uh, who founded this. And the goal is to make electronics more repairable, more sustainable. Now, today we will say about the procedure of installing uh, on the MacBook Pro or any actually MacBook. It doesn't have to be Pro, it can be Air, it can be just a regular one. Uh, and Ubuntu. I downloaded uh, yesterday on the DVD. I mean, downloaded on on the internet. Yes, 22.04. That's what we will need. Uh, always recommended is uh, LTS, long time support. Yes, it's just you know these short ones can have a lot of issues and so on. This this one will have let's say five years of all the updates now i did have 21.4 i'm using here 20.4 and i never had an experience i i watched it online people don't complain about it so yeah we can give it a shot on this here is four gig of ram it's a 240 ssd we know it's working because i've installed here mac os and it's fine it's just that it's outdated so you can't update anything and when you even install like i've installed uh, google chrome it's an outdated one there is no new google chrome or any other modern software on it so yeah pretty much not it's useless yes unless you use some software which was useful on that time so i've got a copy of disk um, over there and i can always restore the mac os one Whereas here, I bought this laptop and guy said it was an issue with it. Uh, actually, no, it was no issue. Just guy who sold it wasn't, you know, like a proper IT professional and he couldn't install. That's my, my way of looking at it. Uh, might be a different case, you know, might be a different case, but that's the most probable version so what we need to do now is we need to open it and i'll tell you why why we need to open it it's just because that this laptop came to me with a password lock on the firmware okay and if you get a password lock on the firmware to my remote to my amplifier um and so when you've got a uh, password to unlock it in those mac max what you need to do is you need to take one ram chip out and when you're taking it out it's recognizing a change and if the change uh, and that change triggers uh, the mode which is which has no password so yeah the security with no security you might say and that's true because if you know it yes which is a broad knowledge then it's a it's a problem so it is what it is Get on, get on. So, okay, so now we can take it out. Oh, put it somewhere. So, as I said, here we've got a new SanDisk 240 gig, uh, and we've got the RAM chipset here. I will just touch this radio. Do not have. Okay, now I can touch it. Um, I will leave one. Mm, one memory stick we could turn it on and install it uh, blu-ray here or dvd actually is faulty 
so so it's a problem now the battery is charged but when you're doing the installation you should you know you should do it on the charger and the reason for that is that um, here is out and you, you need to press the out when it when the sound is or just before the sound yeah now it's too late you see so let's switch it off let's shut down okay so now it restarted so now we can put the memory stick back where it belongs yes uh, put it just like that you know like Okay, just not screwing that in, taking this one out, plugging in the drive. Uh, now, I'm using an old Samsung uh, drive, and I'll tell you why. Because this one is just the USB 1.0, so on that time of, of, them, of manufacturing this one, it's for sure really compatible with this yes whereas if you will take newer one like i've used the pen drive which is 3.2 or 3.0 usb it's not compatible so you're ending up in the let's say problem okay so let's turn and let's press alt or option and when you press in it oh you see now it's a macintosh hd Whereas if you've got a this here and it will recognize the drive, that's Ubuntu 18.4. We don't need 18.4, now it's 22.04. And now when if this will be recognized, you will see here that will be additional uh, icon. And you see it's Windows. Yes, Windows, EFI boot. We don't need EFI boot. Yes. Now I prefer to use a mouse, just just because I prefer to use a mouse. And it doesn't allow me to use a mouse. And I don't know why this EFI boot is here. But I can't press it so we need to use arrow to the right and then enter yes on windows although it's not windows you know it's like that so we will see what we will do now okay and we've got to try and install Ubuntu so let's do this option so you see MacBook doesn't recognize properly that it's a Ubuntu although it was installed from the Ubuntu uh, ISO file it's still recognizing <laughs> as Windows but we can't do anything now if you have any errors at this stage you should Google these errors okay because sometimes there is some hardware uh, not compatibility yes or whatever you can call it sometimes there is some hardware issue yes so whatever you would see here as an error a long-term error which you know it can't go through then it's always best to type that particular error in the Google and then hit search if it's like a really long one try to do you know like a line by line or two lines of the text only paste into google because then when it's too much uh, google might not recognize it properly yes uh, or might give you like a wrong um, outcome so that's that's what it is now this process it depends on the hardware on the drive and on the interface they are connected so in the quickest devices you will be like 10 15 minutes in the old old stuff it might take even up to half an hour or so uh, but it's a graphical user interface yes 
so GUI, GUI, graphical user interface, and on on the computer you can press escape here and you would see what's loading, whereas on the Mac it's not. So I don't know if that's a Ubuntu 22.04 causing that no escape or if Mac is doing that, you know. Or maybe I just don't remember because I know when my Windows, I mean Linux is loading. It's my daily operating system, daily driver, yes. Uh, then then I, I can see what's loading and if there are any issues with hardware or anything, I can see that here. And if you want, you can skip, you know, skip parts here because I was only wanting to show you the procedure. Now you can put screws back, back together if this procedure will be finished and fine, yes? Until then I wouldn't recommend to put screws here because we don't know what what can happen. Can maybe a bit slightly higher, maybe. Oh, like this, and so you can see it, you can take this lamp away. You get the Ubuntu loading up. And, and pause, pause, recording, pause. Okay guys, so I've unpaused it, I have a situation here. Um, nothing has changed, it's still reading. Because it's an old interface, you know, so we can't do anything. Uh, fortunately, I'm nowhere in a rush. I got 50 to 100 repairs, but <laughs> I'm waiting on parts and the rest are my ones, so I can fix it whenever or I may use it for spares. Uh, we got two new tweeters actually which came in from China I've put them but no nobody needs them I see at the moment so we could fix some more columns so like here is one we got mounted here one um, so we could we could fix that one better replace the tweeter than the whole speaker Oh, you see, that's what I was going for. You see, that's what I was going for. This screen I was wanting to see. Um, okay. I don't see here. It's only failed unmounting CD-ROM, which is good. If this would unmount the CD-ROM, I mean the DVD, that would be a problem. And in it, I can't open device SDB. Device SDB is a drive, okay? That's in the folder devices because Linux is, has a different file structure with Mac OS than Windows because they come and go from Unix. So Linux and Mac OS have the structure of folders and files. Uh, when you open your drive, you see bin folder and dev folder like here, etc folder, yes, var folder and so on, and home folder for your own file, for all the users inside. So when you see some message come popping out, yes, if you learn the file structure in Linux, you will then know what can be an issue, what can be a problem. Uh, so yeah, it's it's quite interesting and it's a good, you know, like a brain development if you go into, let's say, IT here, because that's an IT job, that's not an electronics job, yes? Uh, so it doesn't qualify as an electronic repair, it's just, uh, just uh, a computing stuff. Uh, fail to start Ubuntu Live CD installer, fail fail at package install time okay we will see if that will do anything or not you can skip if you want because I need to wait anyway I could pause it but I don't know what will show up when will show up so it usually doesn't take too long to be true. Come on. It 
show it your signature key that it's good oh, excuse me because it, each image should have its own when you download it from the internet you should check if that's valid if it's not valid that means somebody could do something nasty to your code well, oh finished uncomplicated firewall uncomplicated firewall in ubuntu um, it's called ufw and that's uh, uncomplicated firewall ufw yes uh, that's the most popular firewall in the Ubuntu. It's really simple and believe it or not, I'm watching tutorials about the Ubuntu and people saying the 20, 50 steps after Ubuntu installation and I haven't seen that one time <laughs> till date uh, on those which I've watched because I haven't watched all of them because it's no point for me and if you know this you only want to see what software they are recommending or tweaks they are recommending yes so every so often I will watch some channels with higher volume of views or subscribers and I haven't seen setting up you with uh, W this un uncomplicated firewall <laughs> In this tutorial so that's a bit weird that somebody is going for a hustle creating a decent um, guide yes tutorial of, or how of how to set up your Ubuntu and they forget about such security as firewall is yes so that's a bit nuts <laughs> because now all those computers which set up this way they got 65,535 I think ports if I remember because that's you know from top of my head so I might be slightly wrong that's about 65,000 ports and you can use these ports to connect if you've got a Skype uh, installed and open now Skype uses open ports all the time so you can hack that computer uh, yeah smart <laughs> um, but you know it, it is what it is people don't do it so you can see how professional <laughs> they are yes Hmm. So you've learned something new today. But it is still loading. Maybe I'll pause it and I will just unpause it when it will do something. It will show different error or will fail to, let's say, load and restart. Because we don't know, you know, it's the newest uh, Ubuntu. So I know that older Ubuntu more likely would work, whereas this Ubuntu might have some issues because that's the newest operating system on a really old hardware. Believe or not, that can work well, but in some cases this can be a problematic as well. So not always the newest one is the best because the newest one tend to have more errors than the older version, yes? So if you look at the LTS version, long, long time support version. On on my dedicated server, I've got 20.04, and I got no plans to upgrade it to 20.1 even, not mentioning about 22.04. So when I will uh, when I will be willing to switch to the next? Well, probably. Unless something is really, you know, out of date and I can't update something which is crucial for my work or there is no lack, lack, lack of security which I can't overcome, then I won't do it. I won't do it because re reinstalling at my stage where there is so many projects, reinstalling whole Linux as a server, it's time consuming, yes. You need to do backups and you need to transfer the traffic on the time of upgrade so i would have to rent some server for let's say for one month install everything on one month then start to transferring uh, databases when uh, is the least traffic yes so you check on the server when it's the least traffic and then you just uh, put maintenance page then copy that database to a new place 
copy files to the new place and then you test in it and if fine then you uh, you divert the traffic to that new place yes and that's every website every service you've got so if you've got a next cloud and you've got an open office integrated with a next cloud so that you want to have um, documents online yes edit editable documents online on that server or some other feature for it like a mail server yes as well or some other features you know like a, a video support so that in next cloud you've got up to four users okay but when you want to have let's say 10 or 20 users you need a term server so then again if you want to install that term server to support many users then you need to transfer everything there as well and if you've got any other services using that term server you know then you need to fix all those services as well so it's like a that's why you really don't do these things yes you stick to your operating system and then every certain amount of years you can start moving stuff to a different place different place different place and when you get just a little to no value uh, in that place then you can do it yes whereas the new stuff is or that stuff everything else is moved and now it, it will be easier to to manage it hope that makes sense yes and the same with computer if you've got a computer or laptop which you're using it's good to have second device just that even the raspberry pi or something just that if you would do such thing and you would uh, end up in the place that you can't um, fix it urgently and you need to do the work yes then that can save your three letters pretty much so planning ahead in IT is is a crucial part, not only in the real life, but in, in the IT as well. Guys, it's taking ages to be tried. I didn't expect it to go to that extent. Um, but it is what it is. I'm pausing it. I'm pausing this video because, as you see, I've told you so many advices here. But it didn't finish, so... Anyways, see you soon. Small update. As you can see, we get a mouse. So there is a hope. Let's wait. Okay, guys. So there was actually no issues. It just popped out the screen and I unpaused the recording. That's all I did, literally. Um, so we can install Ubuntu 22.04 that's what we can do uh, I see that the network didn't uh, go yet Bluetooth I see it's still there it will get 41 minutes which is 38% that's why I said you know it's better to use the charger mm. let's plug that in and let's start this installer max safe on and on or no one Come on, why we don't see? Yeah, now it's a green. Okay, it was a bit delayed. Uh, so it's balanced type of power and Bluetooth phone. That's irrelevant for now because we just need to install the Ubuntu. So again, I've clicked on it and it's taking its time. It's probably it's loading the rest. I know that the new Ubuntu uh, GNOME desktop, which is this desktop, because I'm using KDE, K desktop environment, <coughs> different desktop, yes? So in Windows, you've got only one desktop. In Mac OS, you've got only one desktop. But Linux is created for, from years with many desktops. Like since start, people were using like on servers, if you've got a lower spec server, then you will use XCFE for instance, it's a desktop lightweight desktop, yes, you still get a GUI, graphic user interface, you still get icons and everything, but it's limited and in the design and in the functionality, yes, whereas GNOME is, you can say it's polished look, not polished, but polished look, 
and uh, they they making it really from for every few years they making it really nice like a lot of nice changes it's highly customizable highly customizable uh, and it's worth to go inside and look for for these things yes whereas i prefer k desktop environment because it's more it's heavier desktop yes it's heavier you need to have a better spec that's why my 40 gig of ram i5 i think ninth generation uh, and 1660 ti graphic card is okay yes whereas on the laptop <coughs> uh, i'll be fine with with gnome because it's more lightweight so for the older uh, computer i'd rather use gnome yes because it's only four gig of ram some core duo or something cpu so it's not something really you know uh, quick to to support everything yes. it might work well yes but i don't want to have any glitches or anything i don't have a stable work mm. And that's it guys that's it so yeah i've clicked on the installer it didn't do anything probably seven years later you know will do so that's why i will again pause it you know and then when it will pop out then i can show you what are the steps of the ubuntu installation okay so we got a installer it was a nice sound which I couldn't catch unfortunately but when you will be doing on your own you will be able to catch it so let's continue and you see this will take ages now because it's reading from the DVD in the old like a slow way yes it's just taking its time now the problem only is that we can't speed it up there is no way to speed it up I could try to install it off the pen drive or I could use newer um, newer uh, Blu-ray or DVD yes, player on USB on a newer port and maybe that could speed it up at least USB 2.0 or 3.0 <laughs> but we got what we got we can never work only with what we can work with so you know it is what it is now in english uh, it's here macintosh you see uk macintosh and i don't know which one should i take or extended windows <laughs> i would say we'll take the uk macintosh and we will see how it will work yes so detect keyboard keyboard layout maybe maybe that will okay press one of the following keys okay so this please press one of the following keys r z i've got no idea how to press this one if i'm present on the keyboard no I'm present on the keyboard. No. 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 Yes. English UK. That's what's shown. English UK. Okay. You know what? We won't be doing. Uh, we won't be doing custom setup of the keyboard we can do it after because that's easy peasy lemon squeezy so that would only take our time whereas you can't see properly what's in me there's nothing to watch move it closer so you can oh wow even worse and I think this angle is the best and this I should use DSLR though on for this one but I 
but we can put you on the path. Updates and other software. No normal installation. We don't need extra. So continue. Now about the hard drive, you should allow it to wipe. So if you've got any important data, you should back it up before. Otherwise you you will lose everything because no other way around it. At this stage, if you want to just put new operating system on a whole hard drive, <coughs> hard drive or SSD in this case. Sorry that it's blurry, but it is what it is. Let me see, now would be best. Oh, now it's, it's completely blurry. Okay, so here. I'm trying to find you the best angle for it. But I can't. I placed you on the Nivea cream. Shy lens, it's rounded on the left and right. So we are looking. If you would work from the live CD or live DVD it's with an old interface like this of the DVD drive, it, it would be a pain. Like emergency one time off is okay, but using it more often, often no. You don't see the crispiness of this uh, panel really nice white crispy screen I mean display erase disk and install Ubuntu exactly that's what we want you see so you will remove everything that's on it the computer currently have has Mac OS X on it what would you like to do yeah it's this can install Ubuntu Yay. Are you sure? Yes, very good. We're happy with that. Yes, because if you continue the changes will apply. So now we'll be copying all the files and formatting disk and partition disk first before formatting and before then copying files on it so that will take some time and if there will be no issues with the formatting and formatting and the partitions then we will be good to go okay let's pick the uk london time good continue and the user where are you well, depend when. Now or tomorrow. So what should we do? My first name, yes. Uh, my okay, well, let's create some really hard password. What you guys say? A really, really hard password. Unable to bring. Require my password to log in. Short password here. Yeah. Well, that's what she said. And let's. 
let's wait on the installation. Yeah, I'll postpone it because it's no point. It's like seven years later, literally. See, the video has already 35 minutes. <laughs> we haven't finished it and it was on pause for some time. Several times. It didn't idle for a long time, it just, you know... Not a long time. Excuse me. Come on, come on. Let us see next screen. Come on! If I could get a modern, modern motherboard with i5 with 8 to 16 gigabyte of RAM, which I could fit here from Mac, then I would really want to put it inside. But would it fit? I don't know. Probably. Probably with a bit of tinkering. And the adapter for the N keyboard and mouse and the display. Oh, they might be requiring newer Mac safe charger. But you know, making it more modern out of the old. That would be a nice thing because <clears throat> this main board is just an old one so we can use it the way it will be now because it will be quick enough you know to use it for just browsing yes and on the go to my business apps like Nextcloud and so on it will be okay or when I'm going to the customer to do some stuff, yes, that, that will be okay. But to do anything advanced, even playing my Ford of Empires, which I'm playing for over four years, it will be too slow. So, yeah. If I add here i5 and 8 or 16 gig of RAM, then Mac could work. If I can connect all the peripherals, like keyboard and mouse, yes? Because if I count, well, tough. So what I would have to do is I would like to, at one point, buy a newer main board from Mac and open this one up and then try to, you know, try to connect, if I can connect these, yes? If I can connect them, then yeah, I can find a way to close everything in this enclosure. And that would be nice, because I don't know how much neighbor cost for the mask. So let's go to eBay. I'll go to eBay. Before this will switch, I can tell you. Uh,
And how much this map cost? That's the question. Model A1502 Use tested and 100% working. Motherboard type, display and hardware check. Okay. And the question is would we be able to connect it? What are the ports here? Because probably we would have to damage the casing on this side. there was somebody who attempted you know and how much does it cost because that's seven year old MacBook. this so I will pause the recording and this way you know you can you can wait uh, quicker yes on what's happening next actually I didn't have to wait long just seconds to be true you can see already that it's creating extended for yes partition doesn't want to go and uh, so it's creating now partitions and for now there is no error so fingers crossed will be okay let's wait more okay and now it's just what is doing uh, logitech usb optical mouse is stuck in u u device as mouse and in user libexec folder gdmx session event logitech device is a pointer wow <laughs> so exciting <laughs> not ubuntu install py and that's python files keeping packages due to preceding openoffice.org plugin owned by user id 0 
bought by you ID 999. So okay, there was no issue uh, of let's say um, of partitioning. There was no issue with the formatting. Yes, now we're just copying files, so it's fine. So we can just wait and wait and wait. I'll unpause it once you know this process will be finished. Okay, guys, so it's looking normal. You've got slides now. Uh, make the most of the web, yes, Ubuntu for desktops, uh, there is nothing like, a, uh, nothing extraordinary, it's, it's loading, 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 it's just taking its time, and go through these slides here, they are changing on their own as well, yeah, you get LibreOffice, which is a free open source office, if somebody is uh, like not requiring a lot, this is more than enough. If somebody requires more, uh, there is Open Office, which is closer to the Microsoft Office, to be true. And what else? And you get a, you know cloud solutions, yes. Yeah? So you get a Google, Microsoft ones. So it's not a problem at all. Uh, and. You know, you can always install Wine and install on it here. And you can install Microsoft Office if you really need it, you know. But it, in many, many cases, this is more than enough. Uh, like, at least for me, you know, like, I can't think of why I would have to install Microsoft Office, yes? For me, it's really enough. This is for everyone. So yeah, just a slide showing you off. Official documentation covers most of the common area about Ubuntu. Then that's the last slide I think. It's, there is no more slides, so it will start reboot, reboot from the first slide. And that's it. And probably. Until we will see that it was installed and please remove the media and restart, we won't have anything interesting here to see. Yes, so I will pause the recording again and see you soon. Guys, I've forgotten how long USB 1.0 is, how slow it is. <laughs> to be true, uh, I don't know, over half an hour it's installing right now in between half an hour and one hour this USB 1.0 is so old uh, but it was something which makes make, make it working you know if I would use the uh, the new interface it could have an issue as it had but this old interface didn't have but it's so slow unbelievable so I'm going to do other jobs because if I will waste so much time it's you know it's wasted yes it will be up to two hours wasted so no point I'll, I'll make the pause and I'll put the recording back but already you can see that it's 48 minutes so it's it's too long for the recording and let, let's see once this will be finished but it's, it's just more than I, I was originally anticipated yeah okay guys so it stopped uh, coughing files and now start to uh, do some magic, yes? So now what's happening is setting up the system, so that's why the drive is slow. It's not reading, I mean. And but now it's just reading every so often when we need to read something, but in general the computer is doing the work, so it's quicker, yes? So now it shouldn't take long, because computer is not that slow, it's just the interface in between the media which is disk here yes the DVD disk and the computer that's what's really slow that's why good that we have you know, such quick USBs nowadays because that was a pain as you see it's the recording is 49 minutes but the, uh, the time is 12 now and I've started about 10 I don't recall exactly but 
probably it was about 10 so yes it's, it's just taking its time <laughs> the generating boot in it okay so bootloader probably so yeah I'll, I'll I want you only to see this configuring hardware part as now you can't see that it's configuring hardware but it's written here oh now you can see configuring hardware on the right hand side it's not running the the hacker is configuring the remote loader exactly right let's see talking about operating systems ah because the, the grub is an environment which is allowing you to choose another operating system like there will be windows or something so it has to recognize um, oh, oh if, it, if it's removing already then it's close to the end yeah it's completely yeah, exactly it's removing now should be quickly the uh, oh it's we can wait or you can skip just a bit as it's removing now all unnecessary stuff it will quick, uh, quite quickly finish. It's doing small leaflets for the right to repair so that we can give to people so that people can ask and visit our website. I'll be printing it out even in colors because my colors need to be refreshed in the printer so I will do a bit in color, not, not a lot but a bit in color and a lot in the black and then I'll, I think I might get the printer laser printer to print more okay yes yeah, so it's the bar as you can see that it's up to here so it's nearly there but you see now when computer is doing it, it's computing power is not that bad, so it's going quite quick. Only that copy was a pain. It was really a pain. You need to buy uh, some DVD or maybe Blu-ray drive and writer for the DVDs on USB 3.0. Oh, at least, at least 3.0, 3.2, 3.0, something like that. Because maybe this would read free, but I did have only this 1.0 which was reading, so... It should be backwards compatible, yes? Oh yeah, look, it's, it's finished. Okay, so it should uh, show us a message now that it's safe to remove the media or continuing yes continue testing or restart now you see and then it should pop out the uh, the disk this disk should here pop out so it's shutting down the operating system and that's us how's the battery because it was quite actually okay on the oh no it's mouses out so we don't have a mouse oh well it doesn't matter to be true Nothingness. See, I got a 
blue spot here to clean, clean dry and no operating system look the boot loader didn't load properly okay so yes in that case we can switch it off switch it back on <coughs> and although it installed properly you will have an issue with the boot loader so now the question is if the uh, issue is with 22.04 or there is some other issue I need to fix the bootloader hmm. that's weird okay it will be the same I see already because it's taking too long time now to boot up yes hmm. it is what it is it can't recognize an operating system so what we can do is we can shut it off raise this one up Let's disconnect the charger remove the charger I'll pause because my son is coming ok so as you know this was unscrewed anyway so what I want to do is touch the ground so I want to make a short circuit to anything. I need to start it once. Okay. We will hold out. It should show us you see windows. Should be able to giving us weird sound <laughs> no. why Ubuntu has a problem with cleaning it's loading so yes uh, unfortunately MacBook Pro don't like to uh, boot normally so we're loading with only 2 gig of RAM right now which is a bit shame but this is what it is I need to make sure to do it the right way so it will be loading with 4 gig normally without overcoming this issue with going into the firmware mode that's why you see this video is showing you things which you normally wouldn't wouldn't see Oh, you would if you would try it yourself. Yeah. So here I've noticed that this touchpad don't have a left click, that's why I've added this mouse. Here's my super complicated password. I lost some screw just... Well, actually I didn't lose, but I just dropped some. Oh, I've got a bad idea. That was just one, so that's fine. You see, so we've got and it's actually loaded not bad. No, we got small co operating, uh, I mean small hardware, we don't want to help improve on this one, it's on my determine the local, local source, no, here it's not matter than. So anyways, um, it is what it is, and I don't see a network here, I don't see completely the network, it's only Bluetooth on, turn off, because we don't need a Bluetooth and I don't see networks um, sharing Bluetooth background appearance notification search notification screen keyboard printers removable language and region wired huh so the driver of the operating system is not recognizing this Wi-Fi card. And what if we will install the adapter? I've got the adapter here, look, USB dongle, just a dongle like that. And if we will put this, okay, will it 
you recognize? Let me see my hand. Let's switch it on and let's restart it. But I don't believe it will. Oh no, Wi Fi not connected. So it's C. Select network. Yes, now it's seeing. So the driver for the. Um, for the network built in is not recognizable. Uh, our dongle is, so it's overcome it. Just 2.4 finding. Maybe the signal is weak because it's a small dongle only. It's not, you know, like a big, big anything. But even with 2 gig of, uh, you know, of RAM, this is not bad at all. Well, it is a fresh operating system, so we count, let's say, Mm, additional drivers here. We could add those drivers, but to be true, uh, so we've got an up to date new, maybe not up to date, but new operating system working on an old, old, old uh, MacBook, which is nice. And computer here we've got it should show us at the bottom here on my one is showing but my one is KDE as I show told you it's a bit different uh, operating I mean the desktop it's kind of folders in the yes, actions to open and double click and create link okay so that's fine we don't need to do anything because I will be using mouse anyway and they like to see here the capacitance of the uh, of the hard drive, yes? Like it's counter here. And I would like to open the properties. You see when we are uh, one here, then it's showing that we view that we're using about 20 gig of uh, of the space. And if you can see it. Oh, it's your low and then looking up that you would have you would see it. so if you can see it. 214 on 234 now I think it's blurry but it is okay so what I'm gonna say is I won't be making a pain you see it's possible to install it you might have a problem with a network which we resolved quickly by installing a dongle yes so I didn't know about that sorry uh, which is quite interesting because those drivers should be in the Ubuntu by default to be true so I will I will be looking into that problem that's for sure because I don't want to have any dongles <laughs> if that's the case you know uh, I'll think of another solution but I, I need a drivers you know proper drivers mm. now I didn't connect it with the internet so of course there will be no internet but know as well here settings or system information in this GUI they didn't time about yes so we see that it's 2 gig now yes we're only using 2 gig on the MacBook Pro 5.5 it's Intel Core to do only it's nothing to brag about this capacity is 240 64 bit operating system Wayland so okay let's let's shut it off because it should shut off quickly lock settings power off shutting down power off power off <laughs> let's see it's quick it's MacBook uh, had its own OS it was quick as well but I'm curious now if we will add this memory yes if this will be able to boot on its own because I don't want to have mm, always open case to start this laptop that would be you know ridiculous so I need to look into two problems right now why it didn't want to boot on its own like you press in it and you should be able to wait and have it starting because that should start so the boot sector is not registered properly so it can't read you need to pick it from the from the list <coughs> so that's a that's a problem 
how to overcome this problem and second is the Wi-Fi network and then I can say that I can keep this laptop and use it yes because I know that there is a there is too big problem if I will have to go to these extremes yes that was a long but it's it's a good one so okay so maybe this will be longer but it will do because I see that it's loading yes yes it's loading because it's it's scanning the hard drive I mean the SSD firmware yeah firmware issue okay that's fine power profile demon everything is okay finishing okay cool so now what left only as a problem it will be slower boot but that's okay that that that's I can live with that Yeah, my super complicated password. Okay, so it's not wow. It's not wow, but it is working. And settings. Yeah, now it's 4 gig. And my, I would like to add here to 8 gig. Okay, that's what I would like to do. 240 gigabyte for SSD, it's okay for this MacBook. That's fine. I don't need more than that. And what I would like to do here only is to add to 8 gig of RAM, and then I will be happy with this with this laptop. I need to only work on it just a bit to see uh, if I can uh, if I can. Where is my network password? It's in the phone. Mm, photos. I'll pause and I'll connect because that will take me a wee while. Okay, I've typed that password and let's click connect. Connecting, connect, connect it. Okay, so it's fine. Maybe not the best reception because it's a small dongle as we said before, as I've said before, but let's give it a shot. Mm, did I click? Or did I not click because I'm not 100% sure if I've clicked it? Okay, I assume I, I haven't clicked. Now it's clicked, okay. It's taking several seconds. Ah, because it's the first load, okay. Yes, so when we will close it and open, reopen, it should be fine. Shouldn't take so many seconds. So let's close it after opening and let's reopen it. It should be quicker new window what the are they not no you can't work like that guys this is this there is some issue with it I can't tell you yet what it is but there is some issue with it yes it did connect with an um, internet but it's taking ages to give us a window okay new window look what is this quit quit oh Okay, it's useless, at this stage it's useless, so I don't know if people try this 22.04 on the MacBook Pro from 2009, but if they try there will be some information online, if they haven't, then maybe uh, just to save myself a hassle time and everything take my time and just install 21.4 because it's it's out of you know it's like the fan is speeding up like it would overheat if this 
this is still working laptop because <laughs> it was working laptop on the Mac OS now on the Ubuntu we've got few issues to resolve so the question is is it the 22.4 causing that and on the 20.4 or 21.4 will be fine because I can see that it's uh, it just moved the icons that's mean there is some issue okay so balance power server Settings. In general, it's not bad, you know. It's it's not really bad, but it's it's freezing or something. Power. There's a performance in the KDE. Uh, we've got performance, and here, see, it's working. It's working fine, but. And the documents language LibreOffice system monitor or something like that will do yes so process uh, CPU oh that's what I was looking for actually to be true see that's the system monitor I was looking so CPU is okay and I thought it would be more bad it's 1.1 only of gig of um, of memory out of 3.8 network is not bad Nothing is to the maximum. 3% usage of the hard drive only. So it's memory disk is, is okay. It's no problem. Hmm. So it's looking okay, actually. We don't have high peaks. So only that uh, Firefox, that's what you see this is loading, loading, loading. Only this Firefox causing an issue for some reason. Why? I've got no idea. But as I said, you know, it's 20.22.04. That's the newest operating system, which probably no one cares about old uh, MacBook Pro for this laptop. Uh, for this laptop to support everything, yes. You see, so then the CPU is, is low, everything is low, but the uh, Firefox has just frozen. Again, when we will click it, it's trying to load, trying to load, the CPU is on the max. Oh, look, finally, how many times we have to click to get this Firefox to work? And is it working? Speed test dot net, or it won't work. Well, it is working. The CSS is loading on the Mac OS. We couldn't load it. I consent. It's only 2G. It's not 5G network, so it won't be a lot. Oh, it's overheating over there. The, the usage is just not. Wow, it's only 2 meg. That's not good even for the video play. <laughs> Oh, free! Check that system monitor. Oh, CPU. RAM is 1.6. Yes, it's kilobytes per second resources. Oh, that's free mega only. <laughs> that's that's really bad. That's really bad. And point nine <laughs> upload, guys. Um, I'll go down and I'll pause the video and I'll check because the battery is full anyway. And I'll check what will be the speed closer to the router, okay, guys. So, this uh, please keep in mind that it's through the USB 1.0. Yes, it's not something or maybe 2.0. I don't know what is mounted here in the MacBook Pro, but it is no later than. Uh, 2.0 for sure and I can't guarantee that it's even 2.0 might be 1.0 as this uh, is so it's 35 uh, downloads at the pink 41 and 183 uploads so 
it is a difference yes because here we got only those few like two or something so one is a distance two it's through the walls three that doesn't have any external antenna this dongle yes yeah? so and plus the communication from the usb it's slow as well so i can say that yes it is, it is not good it's not good enough so even watching a youtube or something it would be a pain that's why i need to fix the driver for the built-in one because the built-in one has an antenna so that's what i need to do and now i've got a problem with the <laughs> you see that the newest technologies like Firefox yes and this website here these technologies where when they are matched with the hardware old hardware what they are doing they are freezing it yes that's why I need to make sure is it worth to upgrade to 8 gig of RAM and stick to this laptop or maybe remove the main board remove the DVD drive uh, just you know just turn this laptop into maybe either raspberry pi or some other find some other main board for it and just try to fit in that main board and then convert the display connector um, the touchpad connector and the keyboard connector with power supply uh, from the modern yes more modern mac or some modern laptop and just put that in and, and use that that way yes so to turn this uh, apple macbook pro into a modern hardware because you see that this is really bad yes this is really bad like you can't close it even yes you see that it's it just no uh, hardware wise is half of the ram used all the time because it has to now CPU is dropping but it is slow, it is really slow Firefox is not responding for squid you see, it's because the newest technologies are not capable of doing um, modern tasks yes, it's just because of that that's why we get a brilliant case, we get a brilliant display that's why we got still good webcam probably um, that's why we've got you know a keyboard touchpad battery charger this is all good you know the only thing is a problem here is a computing module yes so now we need to find a way to get this computing module to work more efficiently or just replace it uh, so that will be my goal and I will close this video you see I will I overcome all the obstacles about this one I can't overcome this one so I'm thinking um, I could still test 20.04 if I will see no difference in it um, I'll create a playlist on this channel and I'll call it uh, MacBook Pro okay MacBook Pro project and if you want to see any videos related to this I will be recording and I will be putting there I see that the, the operating system is unable to even close the Firefox yes it just four squid quit four squid you see it's just unable because that's what I'm telling you there's a problem for it and the res you know is working fine you can operate that remina well we don't need to remote desktop anyone at the moment power statistics laptop battery yes what hours voltage energy you see it's, it's working yes model history statistics you see it's it's really a discharge accuracy charge profile so no, so it is okay, yes, but it's not good enough so that um, so that we can say yes, we want to use this on a daily basis as our daily driver laptop. Force quit it. 
and you can't force quit it so we will need to go into the terminal and kill the process yes in order to close it the right way but anyway uh, that's it that's a project you know that's not something which we really have to do i can as well take this um, ssd and put it into raspberry pi and for now leave it yes because i've got other jobs but i'm thinking what maybe before doing that i would uh, still try to install here 20.04 because that's two generations older operating system and once installed I, because you've seen all process here I can show you how this hardware will perform on that operating system and then you can compare yes we've got this 18.4 is 18.04 for probably I've, I've typed to, typed wrongly yes that's probably 18.04 not 18.4 and um, so yeah so we can try that one as well and then you will be able to see firsthand without all this process of installation yes uh, but today I will call it a day because it's over an hour, hour and 21 you're watching it, yes, and I've wasted too much time on it anyway. So guys, thank you for watching, hope you've got a lesson, you see that old tech, it's sometimes not worth the time and hassle. We can remove whole computing module and replace it, but it's again a lot of hassle, a lot of time. So old is old, yes, and not always it's worth our money and time especially when we don't know what to do yes and we're guessing that will be even more pathetic but i know what to do how to do it so that's that's okay guys thank you for watching and let's fight for the right to repair so we can repair them more thank you and bye bye